day all. Today I'd like to go over five of my favorite meat gathering spots. Meat is one of the most sought after materials on the market and will consistently sell. It also yields some of the highest counts of black gem fragments I've recorded. It also yields a good amount of capris, hards, and sharps, making it one of the better all around profit per hour life skills. A quick note before we do start, your overall profit per hour will heavily depend on the market pricing as well as your character and your mastery. If you're playing a class with low AOE or poor movement, it's going to cause a decrease in yield in comparison to a Musa or a Val. I'll be using my Shy as she has the highest mastery with Gather Around as my taunt skill. These first three are my favorite based on proximity to Hydel, so let's start with Agris Step Wolves. Agris Wolves consist of two areas of fairly dense mobs with a good scattering of single and double groups around the outskirts. Make sure that you're killing enough of the outskirt ones that you're letting the main groups spawn keep up with your rotation, or else you're just killing your efficiency. Next, we're going to head to the Forest of Seclusion. There are two spots here I'm going to show you, starting with the wolves. They aren't quite as dense as Agris, but there are a good amount of decent packs, and I usually don't find too many people here. It takes a bit more getting used to the rotation, but once you have the spawns down, it's quite juicy. The third spot we have is very close to the wolves and is the starting area for many classes. We're getting fox meat here instead of wolves, so keep in mind that when you're looking at the market prices to find out which is going to be the best. I do find that it still has quite a large hourly yield no matter what. With my shy, I do find it a little bit more difficult just because most packs are 3 to 4 rather than the 6 plus we were seeing at the other areas. The spawns are fast though and the yield is strong. I do encounter level 1s and high gatherers here more frequently than the other previous seclusion spots so keep that in mind. Next we have the deer down in bear. This is another very popular spot and can also double up for fluid collecting. I wouldn't recommend getting blood from the wolves due to the really low price of wolf blood, but deer blood usually stays fairly high and they still yield strong fragments and it is equatable to butchering them overall. This is one of the hardest spots I'd found for shy though, just because the deer like to wander off from the clusters. Once a few of the rotations are done they do tend to tighten up a little bit, but it can be tedious for non-musa classes. That being said, it still yields strong results for me, just not quite up to par with the other three.
Last, I can't make a meat video without including ye old tried and tested. Cheap Mountain has fallen off the radar since Mastery came out, and that's because the drop table differs slightly. Instead of seeing a drop table of 2 to 4 meat per gather, sheep can drop 1 to 4 meat instead. It doesn't seem like much on paper, and it wasn't really that big of an issue until we lost high quality wine. Due to its extreme density, you will burn through energy far faster than any other area mentioned, making its energy to meat ratio lower overall. Still excellent for poor mobility classes, or if you just want to rip out some meat in a hurry and burn all your energy. In summary, at the 1450 mastery breakpoint, I'm getting roughly 175 million per hour during the weekdays in these areas, and significantly more during the weekend. I also find that creating concentrated black magic gems increases overall profit, but it does take some time to do these, so I did not take that into account for my overall. When I do make concentrated gems at current market price, I'm pushing over 200 million per hour. So well, that's it. Thanks for watching, and be polite if you come across another life skiller at one of these spots. We're all in the same boat here, boys. Usually some politeness goes a long way than screaming spot taken and just being a big yerk. You can find more of me in the link below. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to find me on Twitch or hit me up in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.